Quantum computing is a multidisciplinary field comprising aspects of computer science, physics, and mathematics that utilizes quantum mechanics to solve complex problems faster than classical computers. The field of quantum computing includes hardware research and application development. Quantum computers are able to solve certain types of problems faster than classical computers by taking advantage of quantum mechanical effects such as superposition and quantum interference. Some applications where quantum computers can provide such a speed boost include machine learning, optimization, and simulation of physical systems. Eventual use cases could be portfolio optimization in finance or the simulation of chemical systems. Solving problems that are currently impossible for even the most powerful supercomputers on the market. Quantum bits, or qubits, are represented by quantum particles. The manipulation of qubits by control devices is at the core of a quantum computer's processing power. Qubits in quantum computers are analogous to bits in classical computers. At its core, a classical machine's processor does all its work by manipulating bits. Similarly, the quantum processor does all its work by processing qubits. In classical computing, a bit is an electronic signal that is either on or off. The value of the classical bit can thus be 1 or 0. However, because the qubit is based on the laws of quantum mechanics, it can be placed in a superposition of states. When measuring a qubit, the result is a probabilistic output of a classical bit. If a quantum computer manipulates the qubit in a particular way, wave interference effects can amplify the desired measurement results. The design of quantum algorithms involves creating procedures that allow a quantum computer to perform calculations efficiently and quickly. In a classical system, a bit would have to be in one state or the other. However, quantum mechanics allows the qubit to be at a coherent superposition of both states simultaneously, a property that is fundamental to quantum mechanics and quantum computing. In classical computer technologies, a process bit is implemented by one of two levels of low DC voltage, and while switching from one of these two levels to the other, a so-called forbidden zone between two logic levels must be passed as fast as possible as electrical voltage cannot change from one level to another instantaneously. There are two possible outcomes for the measurement of a qubit usually taken to have the value 0 and 1, like a bit or binary digit. However, whereas the state of a bit can only be either 0 or 1, the general state of a qubit according to quantum mechanics can be a coherent superposition of both. Moreover, whereas a measurement of a classical bit would not disturb its state, a measurement of a qubit would destroy its coherence and irrevocably disturb the superposition state. It is possible to fully encode one bit in one qubit. However, a qubit can hold more information, for example, up to two bits using superdense coding. A classical bit can be either zero or one. A quantum bit or qubit is a superposition of 0 and 1. A single qubit therefore takes two classical values at once. Every operation on the qubit is done on both values at once. Here is a table giving us a comparison between classical and quantum bits at different scale. We can see the explosive nature of the bits. It takes only 13 qubits to store a kilobyte. 13 bits is just a byte and a half in comparison. Let's look at a larger scale with both memory, as we did, and time. Let's assume we have a classical computer with a clock speed of 3 gigahertz. Let's also assume one operation on a classical state can be done in one clock cycle. The computer could therefore perform 3 billion operations per second. This estimate is a little optimistic, but it gives an order of magnitude. Those numbers drive the point home. 63 qubits contain as many classical bits as an exabyte of data. By comparison, 63 bits are just under 8 bytes, just enough to store 8 characters. If we look at it from an execution time perspective, it will take a century to simulate an operation on 63 qubits. We added the 1000 qubits row to show where this trend is going. 
10 to the power of 301 classical bits is a staggering number of bits. For reference, it is believed the universe contains 10 to the power of 80 hydrogen atoms. So we would need more than three universes worth of hydrogen atoms to store those bits. Operations on a thousand qubits would take 10 to the power of 284 years to simulate. The age of the universe is estimated at 13 billion, 1.3 times 10 to the power of 10 years. Hence, we would need to wait 28 times the universe's current age to achieve that. Clearly, this isn't just a convenient speed up. Quantum computing opens up a different space of problems. 1,000 qubits aren't where the train stops. It keeps going after that without the ability to solve problems we do not have the vocabulary to express today. What does the future of quantum computing hold? Quantum computing is a rapidly developing field, and its future is full of exciting possibilities. Several potential directions for quantum computing in the future are improved hardware, applications in chemistry and materials science, advancements in cryptography, optimization and machine learning, and hybrid classical quantum computing. Quantum computing is still in its infancy, and there are many technical and practical challenges that need to be overcome before it becomes a mainstream technology. These challenges include improving the stability and scalability of quantum hardware developing better algorithms and error correction techniques, and finding new applications that can take advantage of quantum computing's unique properties. Overall, the future of quantum computing is bright with the potential to revolutionize fields ranging from medicine to finance to cybersecurity. Even so, quantum computing may not be widely accessible and practical for real-world applications for several years.